Here we are with a quick unboxing of the JCB Tough Phone Sightmaster 2, the replacement to the original Sightmaster with uh, slightly improved features. So this is the official packaging. And if we take a look on the back here, we've got a water resistant and dust resistant phone, tested to IP67, one ton pressure tested, two meter drop tested, Bluetooth, two megapixel camera, torch, and then we've got uh, the GSM frequencies there as well. So this is just a sort of basic phone that's designed for people who work on sites and need something a little bit more rugged than your everyday mobile phone. It has got the JCB branding on it as we can see here. We'll come back to that in a moment. But as the name implies, this um, is designed to be tough. It's water and dust resistant, pressure tested, drop tested, and it's gonna live up uh, to a harder life than most phones. So we've got a quick start guide telling you how to uh, insert the battery and the SIM card. We've got a quick uh, indication of a lot of the buttons on the device. Then in the box we've got several components. We've got this lanyard strap which can attach onto your clothing, your bag. We've got a little compass on the strap here. We've got the uh, components for actually attaching it to the device or attaching keys to. Got this little tool here for removing the screws on the uh, back of the device to access the battery cover. We've then got uh, the wind up charger option here. So we've got a USB port with a little lanyard strap and you can use this in an emergency with the little wind up arm there to charge your device if you're running low on power. You've then got a set of uh, in-ear headphones with inline microphone and clip for your clothing. It's got uh, what looks like a micro USB or proprietary connection there um, for the device so you can do take the audio out for phone calls so you connect this up for taking your calls safely. We've then got a uh, micro USB cable with USB connection that goes into the mains power adapter or that wind up charger for actually charging the device and when charging it you're going to be charging this the 1250 milliamp hour battery so it's quite a reasonable size battery considering the device only has a two inch display it's not touch screen we then have a three pin UK mains adapter head, we've got a 2 pin US, a 2 pin Euro mains adapter and then we've got the mains adapter itself onto which you connect the uh, different heads for the various countries and then you've got a USB port into which you connect the provided USB cable and in turn charge the device. So that's it in terms of actual box contents and then looking at the device itself. So we've got a two inch uh, display here, it's not touch screen. You've then got uh, a series of buttons for actually controlling the device. So we've got the physical uh, buttons here for dialing numbers. So that's quite handy if you're on site, no touch screen, it makes it nice and easy. We've got the physical call and end call buttons. We've then got uh, the soft keys on the right and left for navigating the menus. We've got a button here for actually silencing the phone. We've then got a uh, lock button here as well. We've got the microphone for your voice down here. And then of course at the top we've got the speaker as well. On the side, we've got the headphone, sorry, the uh, micro USB charging port cover. So you connect your mains power to that, and then this cover goes over it. And this is to help it with its IP rating and water resistance. You have to make sure that covers uh, over it there. You've then got a dedicated camera button. It's a uh, two megapixel camera on the back of this. You can then see we've got some of the real sort of ruggedy design here 
with the sort of screws at the top you've got this piece that you can see through and that's to uh, allow you to attach uh, the lanyard to it on the back here is the 2 megapixel camera with LED flash you then got uh, a loudspeaker on the back here you've got the battery compartment under which sits the battery and the SIM card and you use the tool or a screwdriver to remove the back cover and then on the other side we've got the torch button so you can use the uh, LED flash as a torch here so we're just going to put the battery in and get this powered up so just going to show you under the battery cover you've got the SIM card slot here and then you've also got a micro SD card slot for a memory card there if you uh, choose to, to use that for putting things like your photos on it. You uh, pop the battery in like so and then you replace the cover like so and we screw these uh, in place to ensure the device remains water and dust resistant so it takes a little bit of time just to do that it's not something you're going to want to do every day removing the sim card uh, because you need to make sure this is secure now you can use the special provided tool as well so let's just actually power this device on and give you a quick look at uh, phone in a little bit more detail so it's a proprietary uh, system on here so it's not an all singing all dancing um, Android operating system but IP67 rated, 2 meter drop tested, so this device is going to live up to it. So um, we haven't actually put a SIM card or anything in here at the moment, so that's why it's coming up with insert SIM. So through the menu, we've got a number of options. So we've got our contacts. Now we haven't stored any in here, but you can see we've got options or back, and this is how we use the soft keys um, on the device to go through the menus. We've got the ability to go into messaging if we had a sim card here and you can use the physical numeric keypad to type out a message we've got the call center which you can see your call history and some call settings you've got extra facilities such as a calculator currency converter stopwatch and even an ebook reader on here Multimedia, so this is where you can go into your camera and uh, take pictures, view them, view video. So let's go into the camera there so you can see that we can uh, then take a picture. We've got a variety of uh, settings coming up on the side here as well. We can then view any images that we've taken, but there are no files we can record video um, from here as well and just use the uh, big button in the middle to actually proceed with that and we can stop and then we can save it if we choose we've got more options here that we can change as well quite a few actually considering this uh, price point of the phone and, and a lot of the features that it offers. We can then go and edit and even record sound. You've got an FM radio which is useful if you're on site, connect your headphones up, a melody composer. We've got some general settings about the phone, so this could be anything from connectivity to sound to restoring the factory defaults. There are some games that we can play. got an organizer, so a calendar, a task alarm, notes, quite useful. File manager, so this is where you can go into the memory on the phone or the memory card if you've got one inserted and you can remove files or access them. You've got the shortcut set up. You have got the ability to browse the web on uh, here if you wish. And then we've got some uh, options around the user profile. So general silent meeting. You've seen those on before on uh, many different devices. So that's a quick look at the JCB Sightmaster 2 available from clove.co.uk.